Welcome, everyone, to the 54-day novena of Our Lady of the Rosary of Pompeii, Day 20. This 54-day novena of supplication to Our Lady of the Rosary from Pompeii in Italy, known throughout the world and spread by Saint Pio of Pietrocina, aims to obtain difficult or desperate graces. Please note that this novena comprises 27 days of petition and another 27 days of gratitude. As an act of love for the Virgin Mary, we invite you to pray this novena for conversion, holiness and purity of heart, and for the religious freedom of Christians in India. We start to pray the prayers of the novena first, followed by complete holy rosaries, joyful, sorrowful, glorious, and luminous mysteries every day. Always have a view a rosary, the image of the Virgin of Pompeii, and if possible, light a candle as the symbol of the faith in Christ that burns in our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Preparatory Prayer O Saint Catherine of Siena, my protectress and teacher, who from heaven assist your devotees as they recite Mary's Rosary, come to my aid in this moment and deign to recite along with me the Novena to the Queen of the Rosary who has established the throne of her graces in the Valley of Pompeii, that through your intercession I may obtain the grace I desire. Amen. O God, come to my aid. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, go without end. Amen. The first prayer. O Immaculate Virgin and Queen of the Holy Rosary, in these times of death, faith, and triumphant in piety, you have desired to establish your throne of queens and mother in the ancient land of Pompeii, the resting place of deceased pagans. From this place in which idiots, uh, idols, and demons were worshipped, you today, as the mother of divine grace, shower the treasure of heavenly mercy for far and wide. O Mary, from the throne upon which you graciously reign, turn upon me as well as your benign eyes and have mercy on, the, on me who am so greatly in need of your help. Show yourself to me, but as you have shown yourself to many others as the true mother of mercy, while I with all my heart greet you and invoke you as my sovereign and queen of the Holy Rosary. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up a sighs, mourning in peace, valley of tears. Turn then, O gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our desire shown at this, as unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. The second prayer, prostrate before your throne, O great and glorious lady, my soul venerates you amidst the groans and sighs which afflict beyond measure. In this state of anguish and affliction in which I find myself, I confidently lift up my eyes to you who have deigned to choose the land of poor and abandoned persons as your dwelling place. And there, before the city and amphitheater, where there reigns silence and ruin, you, the queen of victories, have raised your powerful voice to call from every part of Italy and the Catholic world, 
your devoted sons and daughters to build a temple to you. May you now be moved to pity for this soul of mine that lies here humiliated in the mud. Have mercy on me, O oh my lady. Have mercy on me, who am overwhelmingly covered in misery and humiliation. You who are the extermination of demons, defend me from these enemies besieging me. You who are the help of Christians, deliver me from these tribulations which wretchedly oppress me. You who are our life, triumph over death which threatens my soul in these dangers to which it is exposed. Grant peace to me, serenity, love and health. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we stand up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. The third prayer, the knowledge that so many have been helped by you solely because they turned to you with faith gives me new strength and courage to call upon you in my needs. You once promised to Saint Dominic that those wishing graces shall receive them through your rosary. Now I, your rosary in my hands, dare to remind you, O Mother of your holy promises. Indeed, you yourself work endless miracles in our times in order to call your children to honor you in the temple of Pompeii. You therefore long to wipe away our tears you yearn to relieve our pain. Then I, with my heart bared and with burning faith, call upon you and invoke you. My mother, dear mother, beautiful mother, most sweet mother, come to my aid, mother and queen of the Holy Rosary of Pompeii. Delay no longer to in stretching your powerful hand out to me to save me, for you see, delay would be my ruin. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. The fourth prayer. And to whom else might I go, if not to you, who are the solace of the wretched, the comforter of the forsaken, the consolation of the afflicted. I confess to you, my soul is miserable, weighed down by enormous faults. It deserves to burn in hell, unworthy of receiving graces. But are you not the hope of those who despair? The mother of Jesus, the only mediator between God and humanity. Our powerful advocate by the throne of the Almighty, the refuge of sinners, then only say a word on my behalf to your son, and he shall hear you. Ask of him, O oh mother, this grace which I am so greatly in need of. You alone can obtain it for me. You who are my only hope, my consolation, my sweetness, my whole life, so I hope 
Amen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. The fifth prayer. O Virgin and Queen of the Holy Rosary, you who are the daughter of our Heavenly Father, the Mother of the Divine Son, the Bride of the Holy Spirit, you who can obtain everything from the Blessed Trinity, I beseech you, seek this grace so necessary for me, provided that it be not an obstacle to my eternal salvation. I ask this of you through your immaculate conception, your divine maternity, your joys, your sorrows, your triumphs. I ask it of you through the heart of your loving Jesus, through those nine months you bore him in your womb, through the hardships of his life, his bitter passion, his death on the cross, his most holy name, and his most precious blood. Finally, I ask it of you through your sweetest heart, in your glorious name, O Mary, who are the star of the sea, our powerful lady, the sea of sorrow, the gate of heaven, and the mother of every grace. In you, I place my trust and my hope. Save me, I pray. Amen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping, in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Concluding, Concluding prayer. Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. That we may become worthy of Christ's promises. Let us pray, O God, by his life, death and resurrection, your only begotten Son obtained for us the fruits of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech you, that by venerating this mystery of Virgin Mary, Holy Rosary, we imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayers to St. Dominic and to St. Catherine of Siena to obtain graces from the Blessed Virgin of Pompeii. O holy priest of God and glorious patriarch, Dominic, who was the beloved son and the confidant of our heavenly queen, and who worked many miracles through the power of the Holy Rosary, and you, St. Catherine of Siena, the leading daughter of this order, Rosie, and a powerful mediator by the throne of Mary and the heart of Jesus, with whom you exchanged hearts. O oh, my dear holy saints, consider my needs and pity the state I find myself in. On earth you promise possess the heart open to all the miseries of others, 
and a hand powerful enough to take care of them. And now in heaven, neither your charity nor your power has been lessened. On my behalf, then, pray to our mother of the rosary and to her divine son, for I have great faith that through you I shall obtain the grace I ardently desire. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To obtain the gift of purity, let us pray a glory be to St. Vincent Ferrer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the glory be to St. Thomas Aquinas. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have concluded the prayer of a 54-day novena to Our Lady of the Rosary of Pompeii, day 20. We will meet tomorrow at the same time to pray together again. God bless you.